Snap, the parent company of Snapchat has seen its shares fall below the March IPO price of $17 for the first time, meaning that anyone that bought into the much-hyped stock market debut have officially lost money, so long as they're still holding the stock, that is. In full monetary terms, it's gone from a $31 billion market cap company to below $20 billion now. Let's take a look at the chart you see behind me here. Um, I've got a number of um, technical analysis tools that are overlaid here. Uh, starting from the bottom up, uh, we've got the relative strength index is not officially yet oversold, so potentially, according to that, there is this more downside to come. The stochastics looking uh, very negative, and indeed, uh, here as well, on the uh, MACD, which I'll blow up to full screen, you can just see uh, the point at which this blue line goes below the red dotted line is a further negative uh, for the stock when that happens. So add all these together, you've got this stock market for Snap showing a very negative picture indeed. This is since the beginning of the market. Uh, it came to the market at uh, $17, then rose on the very first day, right up here at around about the $28, $29 level, and it's uh, pulled back on that first day. But this is the way it's been trading ever since since. So where does it go from here? Well, you can see now that uh, we've gone below what had previously been support at uh, the uh, mark just above the $17 line here. A couple of times it's hit that and bounced off. But in the last uh, 24 hours, it's disappeared below that. And this is trading all sessions on the IG platform, which means you've got today's trade here on this Tuesday as well, showing another negative day, which means it's going to open up uh, negatively on the uh, New York Stock Exchange when it does come back to market. So things looking very negative for Snap. There could be more selling pressure as well to come, as many of Snapchat's IPO backers are kept locked into the stock until the 29th of July, when they're then free to do whatever they want with their holding. Some insiders and pre-IPO investors will also be eligible to sell their stakes on that date. These are the company people that were involved before it came to the market, so they've already got a built-up stake. Some of them will still doubtless make a profit, uh, but of course those that got in at the IPO will definitely make a loss if they then come and sell that on that date. So watch 29th of July. It's a critical day for the future of Snap shares.